Craig, you've come across a very, very good team tonight, but did you deserve a little bit more? Yeah, I think so. I think we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. I think it was a, a pretty even match, to be honest with you, but obviously the scoreline says different. I think, uh, again, you've seen a team that's got confidence and when the chances come, they, they, they took them. Your big chance first half, you, you didn't take? No, and I, and I thought we played really well first half. We were on the front foot, um, created one or two good moments, and, and like you said, a great move, um, got it out wide and gathered a great header that it should have done better with, and it would have been... Nice for lads just to get that confidence to go 1 0 up, which I think we sort of needed. Um, but start second half well as well, and uh, it was just a sucker blow with the, with the first goal, really, for us. The first goal and the third goal were, were very good finishes, and, and like you say, that's, that's probably the difference. Yeah, um, I feel weak saying it. I think um, there were a couple of decisions in there that referee could have done better with. Um, but obviously, from Stockport's point of view, they'll be happy that they've got the chances, they've took them, and they'll think they've deserved the 3 1. But I think, especially the second goal, um, it sort of killed us. It, it, it's a foul, um, and it, it sort of kills the game for us. And then a penalty, you were awarded, looked a bit soft as well. I don't think it were a penalty, if I'm being honest. I think she, she tried to even up to the referee, and uh, from where I was, it, it wasn't a penalty. But you take it, we scored it, it's 2 1, and we're back in the game, and uh, we just couldn't keep it at 2-1 long enough because I think they'd have got a little bit nervous um, but fair play to their lad he's produced a really good finish for the third goal Was that the thing you, you've got 13 minutes to go you don't need to go and get that second goal immediately you've got you've got a few minutes and, and perhaps you got caught a little bit and then 3-1 was game finished Yeah again. I'm not sure I think we should have clipped it in behind we had a chance to sort of turn and, and we went short and I think Gav slipped and then they broke on us and like I said, the lad um, finished it really well, though, from where I was, um, but slightly sort of flatters them, I think. Um, but, but fair play to them. They're a good team, well drilled, and uh, like I said before the game, I fully expect them to go on and be champions of this league. Ben Middleton getting 90 minutes, that must have been a plus point for you tonight. Outstanding. I it was a bit of a gamble to put him in against such a good team, um, but he did well. He competed well, and uh, he showed his experience, actually, and his natural sort of defensive side to him. And you've been missing that option really, haven't you? You've been short on the ground at times. Spencer and Ryan have been playing, and you've had you've had no cover. Yeah, we've missed him all season. He was, he was one of the bigger signings in the summer. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what he could do. And he's had a, a, a frustrating season, really, for being honest about it. And uh, he had a really good game at Stockport early in the season. And I just thought today he might be able to handle and learn um, a little bit better. Um, Jake Wright got 83 minutes as well, and <coughs> the player that you've been after for a while. Yeah, I've seen a lot of him over the last 18 months, massive fan of his, I think he's a top player, um, obviously lacks a bit of sharpness and getting to know everybody and things like that, but um, I fully expect him to have a good month, um, I, I, again, a, a player that we've missed, a, a natural sort of runner up front who knows how to play as a forward and uh, I thought he did well at times to be honest. And although he wasn't fit enough to start tonight, presumably that frees Jay to play in his natural <coughs> position on the right. Yeah, I mean, this is it. You get one in and then Jay's obviously um, had a little problem with his groin again. Um, nothing too serious, but just something that I felt if we risked, um, he might be out for longer. So, um, fingers crossed, um, he can settle down this week and he's fit for Saturday. Southport away next. They've drawn up to Benny Moore tonight. Very even this league, as we keep saying, but another massive challenge for you. Yeah, I mean, obviously another good team, uh, full-time team with, with a lot of good players, so it's going to be an hard game. and. Uh, we just got to rise to the challenge. I, I will say this, I think the lads were fantastic tonight and I think that um, if we can just sort of learn from it um, and play in that manner, I'm confident that we'll pick up um, points and victories.